Mama says that girls like you just want to be me. You ain't nothing special. You ain't never going to be nothing special. You're just a jigaboo in a bonnet. And, and that's all you're ever going to be. Terry Jo, you look like a three-legged monkey. Of course, monkey. And I won't be talked about like this. Do you hear me? You look like a cricket with no eyes, Terry Jo. You look like a fly with no wings, like I said yesterday. And you look like a bear with no boobs. Don't you ever talk about me, okay? You like a wizard with no powers. You like a quick bit of fiction. I don't know uh, but the difference between a boy and a girl. Well, why you say that? You tell me. Why no. could I say that? No, nigga. You tell Ooh. me. <laughs> First of all, I ain't no dang N-word. And I never will be. You wish I was one of y'all. Maybe I could bring some some um status to your kind. One thing about me is I ain't taking no slander from no jigaboo. Not anymore. I've tried. I've tried. I've really tried to get to this woman and um, teach her a little class. But it's seeming like she ain't gonna never get it. She ain't gonna never get it right. Hello? Until I punch it in her face. And I wouldn't even- Hello? I spoke to you yesterday. Yes, you did. So also you remember me. I did remember you, actually. You fixed your necklace, I see. I did. Good. Were you the one who broke it? No, it was some other dude. Oh, it was that Jigaboo one. I think so. I don't know. Cancel! He canceled! He canceled! He canceled! He canceled! We agreed! He's canceled! He's gonna stay canceled until he, until the end of time. Not him agreeing with me. You know what? And that's what I'm. Them drag queens. What's up? Them what? what? About them drag queens, like those men that be performing in women's clothes. Is that good or? No. Well, yeah, it's fine. I mean, performing like. What do you mean, like acting, like in a movie or something, or? Well, they're just performing on stage and things like that. That's fine. I mean, it's just acting, I think. Um, and you know what? It's just real nice to meet someone who has the same ideology as me. And like, what? I just, uh, it how, seems like this whole, huh? How old are you? I'm 22. 22, and where are you from? I'm from Louisiana. Oh, okay. It's yeah. interesting. That's you, about yeah. five hours from you. Five hours to Texas, five hours from Louisiana. Mm. That's pretty cool. I love that. You're an interesting yeah. person. So should we like meet up in real life and like maybe um pray or something? Yeah, I mean uh, it the comment said Putin on his way. <laughs> They're crazy. And you know what? They're just not Christians. Don't even listen to something like that. That's crazy. So, um, where where in Texas are you at? What city? What part? Well, I'll just tell you where I'm. I'm at in Bon Ton. You got yourself a car. Yeah, I do. You think you could drive about five hours down here to Bon Ton, Louisiana? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. Trust me, I, I'm busy all day. I mean, this is the only time I can stream is this at night. Well, then you need to not you need to not um be streaming. You need to be on your way down to Louisiana. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. You're laughing, but I ain't saying nothing funny. I'm dead. Right. I'm, so you mean I'm it? Serious. Like, you want me to be there now? <laughs> yeah, like right now, so we can pray. 
I don't know. We can other things. Separate. Huh? We can separate. You can you give me give me a text and that we we can pray on the phone or something. All right. Well, I like to. Well, the way me and the pastor pray is we um get down on our knees and we um and the pastor lays hands on me. All right. And we pray. So can we pray like that or? I mean, you can pray so many ways. I mean, it's not about how how you position yourself. It's about how your heart is positioned. Position. It's okay. about how, you, not your body. You're right. That's what the pastor always says. Says he likes to pray in multiple positions. So you can pray Listen like there, doggy, huh? People are just crazy here. I see the comments. They're just crazy. Um. You know what? I'm tired of playing with you. Stop playing with me, okay? One thing about me and him is we're going to get married one day. I love me a man who got his shoulder on his head, his head on his shoulders. So glad I met him. Putin can't take him down, and he never will. I'm doing good. I just love your beard. Thank you. You ever you got have it, it before? You can't have it. You ever got it wet before? That's 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 what Arabs do. When you when you tell them, let's say you say I, I like your shirt, I'm gonna take it off and give it to you. That's what okay. I like your shirt. I like your shirt. And I like your underwear. And I like your I like all of it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Go ahead and take it off for me. Have to have to Yeah, guys, hold on. One thing about me is you're not going to sit in my face and lie. You said I like it and you said you're going to take it off. I didn't see you take it off. For clothes. Sure didn't. You're not going to sit in my face and lie. But let me see you down here again. You're coming back up here and you're going to take something off. <laughs> and we're done here. He couldn't handle a baddie. Exactly. And actually, I'm a goodie. A good hey. I remember you. I remember you. You don't remember me because I don't remember you. Mm. But I do think you're handsome. And I... And I, um... I, I love it. I love, I love your hair. It reminds me of the carpet I got in my uh, bathroom. Bro, bro, what? You know those shag carpets? Yeah, it reminds me just, it reminds me of that. Bro, come on, bro, what are you talking about, bro? Hey, you didn't you call me no bro. I'm a lady. You speaking to me like that. <laughs> what did he say? Um, you're so hot. Oh, my God. Thank you're you. such a bad girl. You're a good girl, actually. I go to church. You go to church? I sure do every <laughs> day. Yo, why your whole chat is in Have here? Have you been smoking that reefer? What? Have you been smoking that reefer? Have I been Have I been smoking that reefer? Yeah. What kind of shit are you on? What are you talking about? Have you been smoking that reefer? Why are you screaming at me, bro? Um, yeah, I've been smoking that Reaper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, well, you got yourself a wife or a girlfriend. I'm married. Damn it. How long have you been married? I've been married to the streets for a long time. 
Straight up. You know what? I knew nothing right was going to come out of you um, high yellers. Because you're having chicken <laughs> boo for a reason. Can't y'all ever just pick the white side? I'm sorry, the right side? <laughs> I need me a man who's gonna treat me right and have a good steady job. Not no job in the dang streets. Not no drug slanger. Uh, people have kids without husbands. Out of wedlock. And what's the problem with that? I just told you what the problem with that was. No, it's you didn't. You said oh, is it? Yeah, you should be married. If you're going to have kids. Well, technically I am married, but he's still not my son's father. My son's father's in heaven, but thank you for reminding me. Have a good evening. Lord in heaven, I pray. Please um, expel these deep devilish thoughts out of my mind and guide my lips, fix my lips to say things that are Christian-like. And not things that are bringing turmoil and sad feelings to people's hearts and minds. Amen. Fuck her and her husband. No matter if he's six feet under or seven feet above. Fuck him. Damn them all to hell. They ain't Christians anyways. That is, I, I take that. That is not a compliment. It is a compliment. No, ma'am. just love me some floop. Nah, no, ma'am. I don't think floop is. Uh, well, okay. that's your opinion. And you better not think he's handsome because he's a man. And you're a man. And that would make you homosexual. But I'm well, a woman. What you, what you and I against, said that. Huh? What, about, what, what do you got against homosexuals then? That ain't right. It ain't never gonna be. I don't care who knows it. You think they're going to hell? I know they're going to hell. Man, <laughs> guess what draws on? Um. Well, you I think a hairline reveal. Can you push your hair your hair back a little bit? Are you gonna? Are you gonna only on one condition? Mm-hmm. Will you give me a hairline reveal? And when you stand of up, I will. okay. Oh. Will, you, will you stand up and of do a, I will. and do a full twist? Of course I will. Thank okay. you, promise. Go ahead. Go ahead and what? I I just gave you my hairline reveal. And I did a pinky promise. You didn't, that's, that's sinning right there. You call yourself a Christian? Call yourself a Christian. Mama would be, if Mama was in your, she would just beat the living crap out of you right now. Do you see this? I, I see it now, but you. That means that's, psych. And I ain't doing it. That's a lie. You're, that's a sin. It ain't a lie. It's a video. Um, and I suck it off the skin, suck it off the bone. Oh my, that is that sure do. And that you know is. what? And you know what? That's about all you could be hoping for in a woman. Sure is. So if you don't want to get married to me, then who do you want to get married to? And it, if it ain't me, it must be a man. So right in here, right now, if you're going to declare that you're not into me, you must be homosexual. That's the only other option. Well, how is that the only other option? What if, what if I have a romantic relationship? She ain't got nothing to do with me. Well, now what, does she? what do you have against her? I have nothing against her, but I got everything. I don't, I think you're capping right now, Missy. Suck it dry. Think you're capping. 
I ain't capping. I ain't never wore no cap before. That's for me. How come you never do these live match battles in your house, this house? I do all the time. I just did it with the mother ma with some other people. So do you actually think do you think I'm attractive or are you just messing with my heart? No, I think you're the most <laughs> handsome man I've literally ever seen in my entire life. I just love your face. You look like a young Clint Eastwood. But the one person, okay, that's a little bit better than Floop. Okay. That's a little bit better than Floop, I will admit. Okay. But. And you know what? I um I think that Floop is handsome. I really do. I mean, that's why I said. What is so good about him? Why would you want to do all those things to I him? I think he's handsome. And he's got a nice big house and he's. He's smart and he's inventive, and I think I think that about you. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we, if you was running up, yes, I mean, I think that fluke over here is not looking too hot. Um. Well, I I think I disagree with you. I really do. So, I think you're, how tall are you, actually? So I showed my hairline. What about? Let's go back to the the deal we made. How tall are you? Can't you just can't you just do one of the two things that you promised on? You can't stand up for us. How tall are you? Okay, I'm I'm six uh, two, six two. I thought so. I appreciate yeah. the. I appreciate the roses. I love you guys. All the positivity. Hit you. Positivity. Y'all better not be over there spreading positivity. That ain't what I taught y'all. Duh, by are Nicole. Are you jealous of them? Should be spamming this. <laughs> are you jealous? Spamming this comments with duh by Nicole. Are you Are you jealous of them though? Because they are saying some. some I am jealous because I feel like they want they want to they want to steal you from me. Yeah, they do, and they're, they're certainly acting like it. They're doing nice, cute things. They're sending you kisses and things. Yeah, they are. That ain't right. Y'all know that I, I like him, and that y'all know that this, this is my gentleman caller. And y'all are over there trying to steal him from me. I appreciate the glasses. Anybody, Galaxy or anything, that would really show her. Galaxy or a, or a, what do you call those? <laughs> One thing about him is he's going to get that galaxy. He said that'll really show her. Ah, girl, you ain't fooling nobody over here. Ain't nobody over here from Texas. The last time we spoke, what did you do with him? You were born on a petri dish. You know nothing about being in a womb. <laughs> so what do you got? You were artificially babies? created. First of all, they I took a not... dropper and they went doink into a in, into a into a little a little saucer a little saucer pan, and you went Poof. no. No, and you said I'm here. Daddy hey, put his baby inside of Mama's baby, and poo, and they made me me. You know what I'm saying? That's just how Mama explains it. Mama is, baby, is a scientist baby. in a lab. Mama ain't Mama ain't been to school since she was three, so she ain't no dang scientist. I can tell you that. Daddy says she's about dumb as a bucket of bricks. That is unchristian of you be insulting your own mama. I, I didn't insult her. Daddy said that. I'm just repeating what he said. I'm telling her what you said. Go ahead and tell Mad her. She can hear me right now. She's right there in the other room. Mama! She's got a, she's got a gentleman caller right now. She, she's on the party line? She sure is. Mama says oh, that she's no. Not 1-800. 
not one eight hundred deep crevice. Is that what they call? Mama says that she's um getting her nether bits fiddled with since daddy's been gone to that vet bar for about four days. Says she ain't waiting up for him no more. Is a vet bar like a veteran's like speaking? I said vamp as in vampire. Oh, vamp bar. Listen, let me tell you something. There ain't no damn vampires out there. Your mama is telling you all types of lies. There's most there. definitely vampires out there. Mama says they're scared of silver and Jesus. And that's exactly why she bought me these necklaces. Pure silver. And they got them across on them. Mama says, if I ever should come in contact with a dying vampire, stick this right down their scrotum. See, what would I be doing down there? I don't know. But she told you know me to what? it's 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 mama being misled misled for me because just because she was walking around downtown Venice seeing David Blaine go and do tricks, she saw Chris Angel and said, "That's a vampire." Ran and home. he sure is. How do you explain the beautiful uh, porcelain skin he's got? And you know what, Mama says you need to pay Pesos. your dues because all them diapers she bought you at the age of fifteen. Because you're shitting and pissing in the bed. And you had she had to buy three new mattresses every time you came to spend the night over here. You need Terry, to Terry, you know nothing this. about me. You All you about do, you. you don't even know me. I'm your cousin's second cousin's grandma's cousin's brother's cousin. And exactly, and that's why I know cousin. about you. You lived in the room right next to me, and I heard the screams at night. I heard you screaming at night. When you were in there screaming and hollering about my stomach's hurting, my stomach's hurting. Those were pleasant screams. My stomach was doing good. Farting and pissing and shitting all over the beds. Don't kink shame me. And you know what? That's why you ain't Christian. You never will be. Because one thing about a kinky girl is there are nothing but harlots and hussies. You Harley. ain't never had a good old stanky time. I sure haven't. You see a ring on this finger. Yeah, this is a damn Meyer. That band is strong. <sighs> this is my hair. And I don't know what you need to, I don't know what you need, what else could I, I further do to prove that to you? Go like this. I told you to do it last time. You couldn't do it. It's like the brightest. Let me sing to your chat one time. You ready? I can see you falling in love. Picture me going deep when you're taking it off. You just my speed and I got what you want. I ain't falling back to you falling in love. I can see you falling in love. Picture me going deep when you're taking it off. Just my speed and I got what you want. I um. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Chase Sunday, Balloon! And since you're over here singing songs, I want to sing your song. Come too. on, turn me up now. Let's go. Um. Yeah! Jesus!
what you're looking like, baby. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. Like baby. Oh my god! The resemblance is uncanny. Uncanny. I love you. Tell T and Tamara out there, I love them too. I ain't making fun of your daddy. I'm just telling him he look like Doja Cat. And I ain't wrong. Emma, the resemblance is uncanny. You know what, that's why you ain't never met your daddy. Cause you're the illegitimate child of T and Tamara's daddy. The proof is in the damn pudding. The proof is in the pudding, babe. And that's where it's always gonna be. Tapioca, chocolate, vanilla, pudding. <laughs> I love you, Dutch Cat. I sure do. <clears throat> But you're hurting for a burping. Hurting for a squirting and a curtain and a burping. Like you said last time. I don't think I'm about to get banned because they're going to tell them I'm bullying. I ain't bullying. I ain't bullying nobody. I sure ain't. I'm just stating facts. <laughs> It's all right. 